pinapalay ko ni Merle ito, ipakita ko sa isang illustration. Uh, uh, what Brother Lito explained was the parallelism between the church ages and uh, I'll put another parallel here now uh, what's the uh, human creation rate. Seven church ages, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, here the 7,000 human creation week, one, two, thousand, three, thousand, three, thousand. Okay, after the tribulation period, uh, sorry, after the seven church ages, we have the tribulation period. Okay, in the sermon of Barbara, the seven years. And here, in the, after the millennium, the 7,000 years is a human, human history, what I call human creation week. We have what I call a, a little season. I'm going to magnify it just for this period. Little season. It's is Revelation 20. Then, at the end of the tribulation, there is this judgment of nations, millennium. And after the little season, there is what we call the great white throne judgment, then eternal age. Now, inside the tribulation period, which is a parallel of the little season, before, let's go to the little season first. Gog and Magog will be mentioned when Satan uh, tries to tempt, um, when Satan successfully tempts the people of the world. Maybe a uh, minority of the people of the world. So, uh, Gog and Magog will be in the start of the little season. Because there's what we call a seduction or temptation of the people. The minority of the people will be drawn in. Then, after wards, when they come past Jerusalem, when they try to surround Jerusalem, fire comes down from heaven and destroys them. So that's the narration in Revelation chapter 20. Here in the tribulation period, what Brother Jerry read from the Bible, uh, the people that dwell, dwell safely in their land, dwell safely. This could only be at the beginning, not at the end. Because at the end, there's no safe, there's no people dwelling safely at the land. There's only chaos. Starting at the middle of the tribulation period, there is chaos. You read in Revelation chapter 9, the way for the, the river Euphrates was dried up, and the way for the kings of the east was uh, made so that uh, why uh, will the kings of the east go? In, uh, in preparation for war in, um, in Armageddon. Armageddon and Ezekiel 39 are somewhat different. Uh, Herbert W. Armstrong uh, of the World Wide Church of God playing truth teach that uh, Armageddon and Ezekiel 39 uh, happens at the same time, Gog and Magog. But let me see, see, uh, show you the difference. Here in the little season, Gog and Magog was uh, mentioned in tempting the people to rise against uh, the king. Take note, in rising against the king uh, in Jerusalem, it takes a little season. Little season, how long that be? Little season is similar to the fifth seal. Uh, they must rest for a little season until the brethren will be killed. The little season is around 70 years. How, how, how long since uh, World War II? That's 50 years ago, 60 years ago. So the people that pulled out the generation, generation will not pass away. And we will see all these things come to pass. Little season is at least 60, 70 years. This is a period of time. This several decades of tempting the people. And when they finally rose up to the revolt, they come past Jerusalem. Those numbers are starting to see. Then fire comes down from God. It destroyed those people surrounding Jerusalem. Let's go to this.